Hey, um, I'm bored, so I thought I would treat everyone to a crappy video of me going through the uh, DVDs that Kara's aunt gave us. Bunch of stuff. Lots of stuff. Like, I wish people still bought DVDs for no other reason than I have a huge box of DVDs now that I don't particularly need. Um, we split them up and we we're taking what we want. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun to just go through it. On the other hand, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I actually liked. Um, you know, if you take out Jean LaBeouf and the monkeys, it's, it's pretty entertaining, I think. I don't know. People thought that Nuke... I thought the Nuke the Fridge thing was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen on, a fi on film. And I just laughed hysterically and thought it was really funny and entertaining. I don't know. The Jesus stone that makes people's faces melt is, like, fine, but Space Aliens is a little off for some people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna put... You're gonna watch me do this in real time. Because we're gonna put... DVDs into one of these motherfuckers. Because most DVD cases I do not need to keep. Uh, most of them, yeah. Holes, good movie, pointless case. Put that there. Real time. That's what we're going to call this. Okay. Rudy. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. Little guy just wants to play football. That's my understanding. Do, 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 do. An isolated music score. It's a good special feature. Remember when interactive menus were a special feature? Did anyone anywhere ever care about that? Even even when I was a kid and I wanted a blue a DVD player, um, I can't can't recall ever going. Oh man, I'm gonna interact the hell out of those menus. So yeah, no, it's a good movie. Kara's never seen it, so might as well make her watch it sometime. Ah. That baby's in there too. Four Sports. This was one of my favorite movies growing up because, for some reason, I loved baseball. Baseball history, specifically. And this is definitely one of the best movies about baseball history ever made. Um, as far as I'm aware, Shootless Joe Jackson is still not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Do, 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 John Cusack and Charlie Sheen. Who else is in this? Christopher Lloyd. That's right, he was in this. Mm. Do, do, do. Clifton James. The Clifton James. Anyway. Eight men out. Anybody need a bunch of DVD cases? It's going to be pretty ridiculous. Okay, what else we got? What else do we have? Let's just get ridiculous here. There's actually not that many. Okay. Up next, we have Topo Gigio, which apparently was some insane puppet that Ed Sullivan was particularly fond of. I don't know what it was with Ed and puppets, because he was a big, big supporter of Jim Henson and the Muppets, too. Um, this just looked like a kind of historical value sort of thing. I'm curious. I've never heard of it. Um... The mouse looks fairly nightmarish, but it's okay. Drink a pint of cough syrup and uh, put this bad boy on. I'm sure you'll have a great weekend. All right. What else do we have? <sighs> Can't see it, but I'm trying to open something. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stay there. Mary Poppins, which, for my money, is, God, the best Dick Van Dyke British accent-centric film of all time. 
Um, yeah, no, I like Mary Poppins. Um, well, I like the choreography. I like some of the songs. Julie Andrews is kind of annoying. I know, I know. She's an icon. You know, what do I know? It's just something... Something a little unhinged. Oh boy, a deleted song. Set top game. Bonus short, hosted by Julie Andrews. Cool. The making of Mary Poppins. Yeah. Um, didn't sound like it was the happiest time for the writer, author, but... If you ever want to watch a particularly depressing movie, Saving Mr. Banks, which has that great trailer that makes you think, oh boy, we're going to have a whimsical old time with Tom Hanks as Walt Disney. And it turns out you don't. It's a good movie, but there's some dramatic left turns in there. Harlem Nights. Yes, one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, I saw it when I was a kid. I, yeah, I, I like gangster movies. I like Red Fox, I like Richard Pryor, and generally like Eddie Murphy, so, yeah, it's a good cast. And, uh, golly, who's the other person in this? I cannot think of her name right now. Della Reese. Yep, Della Reese is in this, and she is great. And Danny Aiello, because, I don't know, there was just something America really liked to see, Danny Aiello, just surrounded by black people. Um, it's just... Something that could get America to go to the movies, I guess. Uh, you know, I think about opening these things, and I remember that my biological father used to get our Christmas presents by going to the store and saying, hey, can I take a look at the case? They'd open the case, and then walk away, and then he would just kind of like fill up a shopping cart and be on his way. And... Thanks to people like him, you have to spend, you had to spend upwards of three or four days opening one of these cases. Like the ones that had the tape on the top and the bottom and then around it, and you're just like, all right, let's keep going. A very mangled copy. This is why we're not keeping cases. Apparently somebody's dog did not care for a goofy movie. Might just be one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, actually. What do we got for special features? Calling All Goofs. A Goofy Movie DVD Storybook. A Trivia Game. Cool. I like trivia. More importantly, I like boring people with trivia. That's where it's at. The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I have this on DVD. I do not have this on Blu-ray. So, that is pretty darn cool. Got it at Costco, apparently. There you go. Cool. Can't go wrong with that. The good, the bad, and the ugly, even if you don't like westerns. I am pretty confident you'll like that one. I mean, look at this horse shit. I like physical media, but man, there's got to be a better way to do this. Probably not, huh? All right. Where are we at? Blockbuster. <laughs> oh, man, this one-week rental is not coming back. Uh, huh, Main Street. We've got Major Pain. A classic in every sense of the word. Um, you know, I don't want to bury the lead, but uh, Bam Bam Bigelow should have probably won an Oscar for it. All right, let's keep going. Got a lot to go through. Miracle on 34th Street, the original. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those movies that you can I can put on during the holidays. Not feel. I just ate a bucket of sugar. This case is plastic wrap, I tell you. 
Um, yeah, I remember this. I remember the remake from the '90s really well. That was that was a whole thing. And it was awful. Um, Mara Wilson was good. Yeah. All right, let's put that away. Hello, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, what's going on, man? There's DVD cases everywhere. What is this? We have... Beetlejuice has just woken up to find his very favorite thing in the whole world, which is DVDs and DVD cases. All right, we've got... Wow, there's a whole booklet here. Uh, yeah, sorry, we've got, um... Beverly Hills Ninja. Other comedy greats available on DVD from Columbia TriStar Home Video. The Three Stooges, Curly Classics, So I Married an Axe Murderer, Stir Crazy, The Cable Guy, and Stripes. Wow, there's actually a whole bit of information. Remember when somebody had to actually write, like, a whole description and synopsis, like, behind-the-scenes thing about literally any movie that made it to DVD? Um... Yeah, this is probably... Beverly Hills Ninja is probably the worst movie Chris Farley ever made. But, um... It's bad. It's bad. It's pretty indefensible. However, it's still fun. So, here we are. Um... You can listen to me make annoying sounds in real time, too. It's fun. to plan this a little better so you not staring at me doing the most banal things. Shanghai Nights. It's fun. I, you know, I haven't seen it in like 20 years, but, um, yeah. No, um, Kara's a big Jackie Chan fan. Particularly these movies. So, we, we're keeping them. We're keeping them, man. Beetlejuice. And then we've also got Shanghai Noon. Can't have one without the other. I hope they never make another one. Um, no, they're good movies, man, but I don't know. Alright. Where are we putting stuff? Shanghai Nights. Actually, we're gonna move. We're gonna go back and grab Shanghai Noon because Kara will get upset if they're not right next to each other, and we can't have that. Um, oh golly, yeah. Alright, let's keep going. See how many more of these we can get through before. Hello, sir. Beetlejuice? What is that? Come here. Hi. Who's getting their adrenal chip? Who's getting an adrenal chip on Wednesday? Yeah, it's you. It's like, <laughs> Release me. Release me. What? What? Okay, okay, okay. Just go play over there. Alright. Divergent. Pretty sure that belongs. Pretty sure that's a Kara choice. Um, fuck. I don't even think I've seen it. Who's in this? Oh, that movie. With, um, Kate Winslet. I didn't realize so many of these still had some wrapping on them. All right. Ugh. What the hell? Temporary tattoos. How about that? Here, I'll get a kick out of that. I guess. I don't know. I didn't like temporary tattoos when I was a kid. I, I just kind of thought they were stupid. Um, I wanted, I wanted to wait and get the real thing. Is is honestly what it was. As ridiculous as that sounds. Alright, let's put Divergent away. We'll see how many how much more of this we can get through. Um if you're still here, you've been pay, you've been listening to this shit for fifteen minutes. And I'm pretty sure we'll be done in about ten minutes, so we'll see. Um Night at the Museum. I think the first one? Yep. Why the hell not? 
Yeah, you can tell which ones I didn't pick, because I have, like, nothing to say about them. Um, we grabbed... Kara wants to hold on to this series. This BBC series, because it sounds pretty funny. And, which it does. Um, I've never heard of it. I don't know... Don't know a thing about it. Lenny Harry. Henry. Who? Yeah. About chefs. Who who doesn't like a chef? Um, no, we saw it. It just kind of looked interesting, so we'll hold on to it. If you've seen it, let me know. Why are we making this video? I don't even know. I guess the other one video on my YouTube channel is lonely. Alright, chef. Chef. Four chefs. Oh, wait. No, I think she wanted to hold on to that. Aha. Uh -huh. Fellas, listen. You listen to your wives, your spouse. Uh, I try. Alright. So, we're just gonna hold on to those suckers. Alright. How are we doing? We're almost there. Uh, are we really keeping remember the Titans? Oh, boy. Oh, and... Okay. That I... Let's see we're holding on to. Um, we're just gonna fly through a few Disney movies real quick. Because I have a feeling we're keeping most of these. Because Kara wants to see if she can get the Disney points. What movie is this? Orphans. Okay. It's not just bad music. Okay, we got... Wally. Frozen. Ratatouille. And Cars. I don't care what anybody says. First card. I thought the first one was actually pretty good. Oh, the Wally box. God. This was a good and terrible, also terrible box set. Jesus. Yeah. Alright. Be gone. Holding on to those. Saturday Night Live. Christmas. Martha Stewart's topless Christmas special. Hmm. How long is this tape? Hmm. Mr. Robinson's Christmas. Um, yeah, just, you know, random Christmas crap from Saturday Night Live. Why not? to being done here, actually. Remember the Titans. Who can forget them? It's a lot in high school a lot for some reason. Uh, seriously, like three times. Our wrapping, prop, wrapping paper problem, plastic wrap problem is getting out of hand. This will teach that ocean to sustain life as we know it. Dead Poet Society. This was a Peter Weir movie. Okay. Great movie. Upbeat ending. Oh, these things. God, do you remember these things? 
a little hard to see, but the little fastened things. He'd like try to open the disc and the whole case would come apart. Yeah, I, I, I love physical media, but this... I don't miss these all hell of a lot. A lot of special features. Hmm. Cinematography Masterclass. There you go. Erotics. Huh. Gene Challa thought this was one of the most original motion pictures he's ever seen. Gene Challa, actually, his name actually appears on several of these discs. I forgot what a go-to guy he was for that stuff. Alright. The Sound of Music. Keeping it solely... Good lord, how many discs is this thing? What is that, the soundtrack? No. It's a lot of special features. Did they make the special features the Blu-ray discs? Oh, I see. It's the both versions. Gotcha. They did literally put all the Blu-ray special features on the Blu-ray discs, so it's kind of funny. Um, no, I don't know. I've been meaning to watch this again, and here we are. How are we doing for time? Not that it matters, but 20 minutes. Okay. We're having fun, right? I'm having fun. War games. I'm trying to figure out this is before or after Matthew Broderick's negligence resulted in the death of two people. 1983. I think that's before, right? Anyway, it's a good movie. You sure want to slap that guy, though. Ugh. I don't know. I've never been a big Matthew Broderick fan. Matthew, if you're listening, I apologize. Just don't... You don't... You don't... You don't, you don't turn my wheel, buddy. I've lost my vape. Who wants to look for my vape with me in real time? Never mind. Shrek the Third. Shrek 2, and Shrek. Um, there was a whole thing of discussion, point of discussion about Shrek recently because it's the, what, 20-ish if anniversary? 2003, good lord, really? Uh, some kind of anniversary involving Shrek, and um, there was just a lot of conversation about, like, you know, how well the movie holds up. Um, I liked it well enough. It's another one of those things where it was like, I liked it, and then I found out that seemingly everybody really liked it. And, you know, it was one of those like, oh, it's okay, kind of deals. I still haven't seen the fourth one. There's four of them now, right? Five? Seven? I don't know. It's the only thing Mike Myers leaves the house for. Okay. Uh, House, Season 5. There you go. Um, we wound up with the first five seasons of House, I believe. So now, there's this whole conversation about maybe getting the rest. I mentioned this the other day. Um, someone on Twitter said, name, name your favorite movie with a predominantly female cast. And I thought about it, and, uh... Gotta go with the League of Their Own. I can't... I mean, of course there's other movies, but that probably is the, my favorite one. And I've learned with these kind of questions, like, I just go with my my gut instinct, you know? Whatever my first answer is, is probably the best answer. Oh, Soylent Green. It's people. Forbidden Planet. With a dewy-eyed Leslie Nielsen and Walter Pigeon. I don't know why Walter Pitt. But, um... This is one of those movies I was obsessed with, like a lot of kids, I suppose. I was obsessed with the cover, which they have thankfully recreated here. 
Uh, and then you watch the movie, and the movie's pretty good. Um, it's a little slower than the cover, if that makes any sense. But it's pretty good for for that ponderous 1950s sci-fi thing. Fiddler on the Roof. I'm actually excited about this because I've been meaning to watch it. Um, I've never seen Fiddler on the Roof. The most powerful movie musical ever made. Pauline Kael said that. She also said Orson Welles didn't write Citizen Kane, so maybe she can just go fuck herself. Still, I'm excited to see Fiddler on the Roof at some point. As soon as I got three hours to kill. Jaws. Um... Can't say no to these special features, even though this is another one of those movies. It's not that I think it's a lesser movie or something that I don't care for, but I don't know. It's it just didn't have that impact on me that it had on some people. It's a good movie, but I don't know. Maybe if I saw it in 1970, or whatever it came out, uh, somebody's gonna have to pick those cases up. I'm not picking them up. No one asked you to. Are, we, are you recording? Yeah. Do you have anything you'd want to say? No, I'm good. Cameo appearance by Rolf. I'm an emotionally stable adult, I promise. Miracle. Again. I don't know. I'm definitely one of those guys who likes... I do like sports movies. Um, I'm fairly indifferent to sports themselves, but I think they lend themselves well to movies, I guess. And this is a great Kurt Russell movie. It's a cool story. Uh, This is kind of cool, because we were watching it the other day. A unopened copy of Faulty Towers. Which we will be keeping the case for, because it's a pretty nice case. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, good timing, I suppose, right? Okay, that's going to go over there. And we have The Prince of Egypt. Um, for my money, one of the most underrated animated films... Best original song at the Oscars. There you go. But still, one of the most underrated animated films of my lifetime. It's, um... Yeah, I don't hear it in the same regard as a lot of other stuff from that period. And that just strikes me as a shame. I think that's it. Oh my gosh. Um, also, just in case he made it all the way to the end, um, we got some extra Muppet DVDs. So, if you would like a copy of The Muppet Movie, The Great Muppet Caper, Muppet Treasure Island, or two copies of The Muppets, 2011's The Muppets, for some reason you want to see me after the show, because uh, I need to offload those. Okay, I think that's actually it. Nope. Not a one. We have to give those boxes back. Alright, if you made it all the way to the end of this madness, uh, thank you. I don't know what I was doing, I was just bored. And hopefully, if you made it all the way to the end, you are too. Alright. <laughs>